It was born here, it was raised here, it was nurtured here, it's grown here. It is critical. There's it's a tradition Baltimore City Solicitor Andre Davis defended outside the BOE meeting this morning when asked about Tuesday's lawsuit filed against the Stronach Group, the company that owns the Pimlico Track and Preakness Race. The suit filed by Mayor Pugh, City Council, and three city residents claims Stronach is openly planning to violate Maryland law by moving the race to Laurel Park in Anne Arundel County after the year 2020. State law says it can only be moved as a result of a disaster or emergency. Not investing in a race course is not a natural disaster. Um, and I think that the owners of Pemlico Race Course have done a really good job at making sure money goes elsewhere so that they don't invest in Pemlico. And at the same time, when you don't invest and things crumble or deteriorate to the point where you can't have people there, then they can say that this is a natural disaster. I think that's a slap in the face to the community. It's something that they're doing very intentional um, and we can't let them do it. The lawsuit asserts that since 2011, Stronach has used the majority of its state aid to invest in Laurel and not Pimlico. The company is even backing current legislation that would allow the Maryland Economic Development Corporation to issue 80 million worth of bonds to pay for Laurel improvement and 40 million for the Bowie Training Center. It would cost 400 million taxpayer dollars to rebuild Pimlico in Baltimore City. And in a Gonzalez poll released this month, 63% of Democrats oppose rebuilding in the city. 77% of Republicans oppose it. The Stronach Group said in part in a statement, the poll clearly illustrated that the majority of Marylanders do not support the use of state dollars to rebuild the track. If the city gets its way, Baltimore would be awarded the track through eminent domain. There's no triple crown without the Preakness. And there's no Preakness without the Preakness in Baltimore City. But the city's really not a racetrack operator. We're not so far. <laughs> And Delegate Bridges, who you saw there in that story, uh, oversees this district, the 41st district. He is one of the three residents who filed that lawsuit against the Stronach Group. And he says that later today he plans to withdraw his name from the lawsuit because he says he'll likely be uh, voting on bills surrounding this issue and he doesn't want it to be a conflict of interest. Reporting live here at Pimlico, Theo Hayes, WBAL TV 11 News. Andre? Well, Theo, you're in the city, but Baltimore County will be affected by the outcome of this with the revenue that comes in from hotels and restaurants and also the county houses, many of the racehorses that train at Pimlico where you're standing. So how is Baltimore County reacting to all of this? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Andre, I sent several questions over to the Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski about that today. And they told us in part, they sent over a statement that says Preakness belongs in Baltimore and we should do everything we can to keep it at Pimlico. They say they stand with their city partners and county delegation to keep it where it belongs.